for both uh, audience and acts. It can be quite expensive to go to Edinburgh. This is a cheaper alternative for the acts. Also, for audience, you can't afford to go to Edinburgh. You know, it's getting really, really expensive. And uh, I think Edinburgh was set up in the, well, it started going big in the 60s. And I think the reason was there wasn't anything in London around so much. Whereas now, you know, this is a big tourist industry here. There's an audience in London during August, whereas, you know, 40, 50 years ago there wasn't. And that's why I think the Camden Fringe is doing so well. Isn't it? If you were to compare it to the uh, to an, any other fringe, it's obviously closer, which is uh, uh, amazing. But also, you know, London is the capital of the UK. It's an incredibly busy, vibrant place. And uh, it's great to be a part of something that's, that's going on in August in London. And actually, more personally, uh, the venue I'm in is walking distance from where I live. So that's uh, a lot different to the years I've gone up to the Edinburgh Fringe. You know. I basically do what I like to call revealing and healing. So I basically I find people and I like to reveal what's inside. You know, sometimes you gotta get to the naughty little root root of all their problems. And then I like to practice my special techniques on healing them. In Edinburgh, you spend about 10 grand to, to, to do a job that you do all year round. Like, I actually do stand up, like, that's all I do as a living. And, you know, you earn a nice, decent amount, and then you spend it all in Edinburgh. It's total rubbish! Sorry, I forgot to swear. It's a waste of money. And at least here, you can just chill out at home. You don't have to be flyered. You know, the people that come to, like, like, if you live in London, you live in London, you can have your own life. Otherwise, you've got to go all the way to Scotland. It rains, it's rubbish.